another attribute chart problem but in this case it's a variable subgroup size so all the other two example before you have 2000 door uh, and then um, the another question was 50 questions for each exam or each, each subgroup size in this case the subgroup size is different so on this particular example a prospective MNSU student is looking at 23 universities and see if he or she enrolled in one of these universities what is the probability of she's she will graduate so the graduation is a graduate or not graduate so that's a binomial situation so yes or no two outcomes whether you graduate from a program or you don't graduate from a program so that's the perfect binomial situation you could also think this is as a Poisson by thinking of um, you don't know when a particular student will graduate from this program so uh, as you know they're both kind of equivalent but this is more like a binomial situation so whether you're gonna graduate or not this is not a large inspection so as you can see for each of this university she collected the graduation uh, total number of graduate and total enrolled you can actually get this information from any university there these days are available data now so i copied that data to minitab and let's uh, run this analysis so the the uh, the first thing c chart or np chart does not apply because the sample size changes so it just doesn't make any sense to compare um, so one university with other because you can see that um, if you have more enrollment you have more graduation rate so you cannot do the sample size control chart for the total number of graduation because each of these universities has different graduation rate so then you have to kind of treat it differently so um, proportion chart no np chart no c chart so only thing you can do either p chart or c chart in this case p chart would be the most appropriate because it's not a large inspection like shape aeroplane or 2000 door it's more like a binomial situation the student is thinking whether she's going to graduate or not if she enrolled in one of these programs so either you do p chart or an u chart so the first thing we'll, uh, we're going to do let's do a p chart the most appropriate one select the graduation select the sample size hit ok so this will produce the p chart all right now let's do the second most appropriate chart which is the um, u chart so let's produce that um, same process some group size so in the earlier cases we have just typed a number under the subgroups in this case we are selecting the whole column check the video on how to produce this on mini tabs there is a video on that uh, here is the p chart and u chart um, how they look like now if you look at this p chart there are some points that are out of control so some schools they are graduating students um, and uh, not easily so the graduation rate is very low some school is giving their easy graduation so three of them you just go there and graduate from there is easy to graduate some are very restricted so in p chart you see some of them going out of control uh, on the other hand in c chart um, c chart does not restrict the control limit between zero and one p does because p is a proportion chart so it cannot go over one so the control line will be always between zero to one so zero to hundred percent and sometimes it makes a lot of sense to make a p chart because you can express this in percentage wise on the other hand u chart it could go over one so uh, sometimes viewing as a percentage so for example if you look at the p chart you can easily say okay i have an 88 percent chance of graduating in general average graduation rate from this school now and you can also say some of them are going out of control this is school this is school will be easy to graduate and then couple of them will be very hard so see school number 16 will be really tough to graduate you know only a very few people graduate from there 65 percent or so so it it's so to summarize uh, c chart does not apply uh, np chart does not apply 
so only thing you can do is p chart is the fast control chart and then if you do the p chart you're going to delete bunch of these points uh, from this uh, here to create the revised one or if you do c chart you really don't need any revised one. i'm not going to create a revised one uh, so you, you can check the other video how to do that now uh, how are these program performing basically it's asking for the process capability which is the center line of this process which is 88.5 percent now next question is there any other type of uh, useful for the chart so first question answer would be p chart any other type would be u chart and then the revise u chart revise is not needed so i think that's about this question